You know what? Well, let's get dressed for the occasion. Hold on one second. I think this this suits the review more. Oh crap! So, ready or not, here I come. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Slash Forever, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Freddy vs. Jason. This is the novelization of the film published by Black Flame. So basically, I'm gonna be continuing doing the Black Flame book reviews. I reviewed uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street series, the books uh, 1, 2, 3, and 5, because 4 is extremely rare and I can't read that one yet, fortunately. But I reviewed the first three and Part 5 of the Nightmare on Elm Street books last year and I thought, you know, I've already read this one, so why not review it? This is the novelization of the 2003 film Freddy vs. Jason, directed by Ronnie Yu, um, who kind of brought a Japanese sort of flair to the whole film, you know. But in a book, it's it's mostly visual, you know, the kind of Japanese shit going on, like Jason being, uh, Jason has that kind of look that also happened in the, uh, in some comic series, some Japanese uh, Friday the 13th comic series. Of course, you can't see that in the book, so you th just think Jason is tall and has his original look, which is good for the people who really dislike the Japanese uh, kind of flow going on in the film. It's not in his book, so that's already a good thing for uh, people that don't like that. Also, there are quite a few scenes that are not in the movie that are in this book, uh, which is extremely awesome. The author actually added a lot of suspension to the book. Stephen Han actually did a really good job writing this book overall. I mean, even if this wasn't a film, this would have been a great book alone, uh, like a spin-off book. Oh, shut up. I honestly think Stephen Han would have done could have done a uh, good job with uh, Black Flame books to write a Freddy vs. Jason 2 book. I think that would have been extremely awesome and I really don't know why they didn't do that. I mean they they wrote a book for, they were they wrote sequels for Jason X, uh, which I own actually quite a few, which I will be reviewing soon. I'm rereading a few and reading a few because I finally got my hands on the full series except for the novelization. I still need to get the experiment, but that one is arriving at my house soon. But I mean, they wrote three, no, four Jason X sequels and a novelization for that film, but they didn't do it for Freddy vs. Jason, which honestly, I think that Freddy vs. Jason, if there were books for those, uh, if there were sequel books for Freddy vs. Jason, I think that would have made a ton of money. And honestly, I think it would have been a smart move if Stephen Hand, uh, who wrote the novelization, wrote a sequel book because of course he's familiar with the first story so he can work further on the same continuity you know uh, because he knows all the characters were in the first movie and in the first book the novelization and um, he can work further with those characters or create new characters you know so I think that w that's a really <laughs> a missed opportunity honestly so there's a lot more to the characters you can of course get into their head when you're reading a book which you can't uh, when watching a film, so that's really good too. I also like the fact that this book has the alternative ending, although I do prefer the movie's ending, which uh, with uh, Freddy blinking, you know, a little wink. But that's mostly because it's the final film, you know. After that, we didn't get any Nama Elm Street or Friday um, the 13th films. Uh, in the same world, of course, we got the remakes, but not no sequels to Freddy vs. Jason or to Jason X or Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which is a shame. Which is why I really think that this uh, like little wink is like almost a goodbye to the audience, you know. The alternative ending is like a cliffhanger here. If there were more more sequels or a sequel book, I would have preferred the alternative ending. But since it's the final movie, uh, really, I prefer this ending. So yeah. Overall, this is a solid novelization. It's actually pretty good. It's well worth your time and if you're a fan of the movie, You'll definitely enjoy the book, and I really think you should read this if you didn't like the whole direction Ron Yu took, uh, took the movie. If you like the story and all, and don't mind the characters too much, you'll probably enjoy the, you really enjoy the book even more than you did the movie. I'm pretty sure about that. So yeah, I believe um, 
Joshua from the 80 slash for library is going to narrate the book soon himself. So if you don't have the book yourself, you can definitely just listen to it there. But I believe the price has decreased immensely on this book. So maybe you can get your hands on one, a copy, just like I did. And uh, really that's all I have to say about Fravers Jason, the novelization written by Stephen Hand. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's so